So you've gone through your data and tagged and coded the content. As you were tagging your data, UserBit was keeping track of how many times the tag was used and where. This allows it to automatically generate meaningful charts and visualizations for your research project. When you first land on Analytics, it wakes up with a priority list in each tag category based on the tag frequency. For example, the first chart here shows a ranking of the top feature requests across our entire project. If you click on one of the tags, you can see the relevant highlights that were counted. Pie charts are great to see proportions, but you can also switch to bar charts to see clear comparisons between tag frequencies. Like most visualizations on Usabit, if you find a chart particularly meaningful, you can save it as an insight. We'll discuss insights in detail in another video. The most valuable part of this dashboard is your ability to filter the analytics by segment tags. If you haven't watched the tagging video yet, I highly recommend that you watch that first. But to quickly refresh your memory, segment tags are attributes of our users. So right now we are seeing top feature requests across our entire project. But what if we wanted to see top feature requests for users in a given segment? The filter on top lets you select the segment you want to look at. For example, let's say I wanted to look at feature requests, pain points, etc. for younger participants. For that, I can select the relevant age group tag. The charts instantly update to show you the tag frequencies within this segment. I can also filter by a combination of segments. For example, if I wanted to see results for younger people that live in suburban areas, I could do that as well. By default, the combinations are joined by an AND relationship, meaning we are currently looking at results where the participants are both young and suburban. We could also switch to an OR relationship by switching the match control to any. The charts now show us results for all participants that are either young or suburban. Another useful control here is the count switch. While tagging our data, we might have tagged the same person's response multiple times with the same tag. For example, if Alex mentions the same pain point in three different responses, we might have tagged it three different times with the same tag. But Alex is only one person, and we only want to count that once towards our analytics. Switching the count from every highlight to once per person allows us to count each tag only once per person, interview, or note. An awesome benefit of having your UX tools in one cohesive platform is how seamlessly things flow from one tool to another. For example, right now we are looking at data from our young participants who live in suburbs. If we recognize this as an important archetype for our users, we can save this combination as a persona right from here. UserBit automatically creates a persona template for you, which you can flesh out later. We will talk more about personas later. For now, let's get back to analytics. Now, instead of reselecting our segment tags one by one, we can simply switch to persona filter and select the persona we just created. This automatically populates our filter with the relevant tags. The segment tab in analytics gives you a quick overview of segment distribution across your project. For each segment category, you can see what the makeup of your participant segments looks like. You can even click on a tag to see exactly which people or notes were tagged with the segment. Another really powerful analytics tool is the correlation tab. Here you can bubble up important patterns in tag relationships. The first heat map lets you visualize how relevant certain highlight tags are within a user segment. Let's see if there are obvious correlation patterns between our feature requests and our user segments. Here we can clearly see that suburban and non-technical users really care about the simplicity of our app. You might also want to see the correlation between two highlight tag categories. For example, which pain point showed up with what feature request most number of times. Here, we can see that participants that wanted simple screens with no details also really cared about the accuracy of our app. I hope this helped you see how UserBits Analytics module can help not only understand your data, but also help you dig deeper and find meaningful patterns. In the next video, we'll see how we can capture these findings into insights to share with our stakeholders.